so you guys can see the uh, painting reference I put it up on my Patreon account the link is in the description of alizarin crimson i want to make it a little bit more purplish then i'm gonna grab some of the white gives it a nice opaqueness and maybe i'll grab just a little bit of black to tone it down a little bit let's see
to have the atmosphere color. So they're a little bit more blue or a little bit more purple. It depends on the air color. So in this case, it's a bit more purplish. So I'm grabbing some of the blue. In either way, it's very toned down.
see that it's on top of the pocket. The professional setting I'm in between spaces, so it's a little bit difficult.
especially first look. your brush strokes and then what I want to do actually I thought I would just do a two-tone gradient but I actually want to do a three-tone gradient that will be even more fun so there's a bit of a trans transitional color between this purple and this bottom color I want to add a little bit of the red alizarin crimson on that
seeing some of that dark color at the top so i'm just cleaning my brush i'm wiping it wiping the excess and i'm going back into the blue color and i'm just adding that up here because i have a thin canvas and i don't like that my mountains I'm going back <laughs> Thank you. 
Just regular brushes. All those, all those fan brushes would have been a little bit better. We can just use this angle brush. So let's grab some of the black and some of this green. I like the green. It just has a few
forest and trees. Perfect. Okay. I think that the microphone was, was working. <laughs> oh, thanks. How, how's it going? How's it going? It's a shame because I was actually talking and explaining. Oh well. Just painting green, adding a little bit of blue to tone that down a bit. some of this sky color. <sighs> yeah, thanks. No, it's it's a very very nice combination. Maybe it should be a little more orange. I toned it down too much. I really love um, orange, these kind of rusty orange scenes with purple, this kind of purplish blue. It's one of my favorite things. Long time, long time no chat. <laughs> yeah. What have you been doing? Haven't seen you in uh, Lewis's streams either. A little bit of orange here, but it's going more into yellows. He did experiments with watercolor. Oh, I wasn't in his last stream. <laughs> That's the thing. He talked about WoW drama. I don't know what WoW drama is. World of Warcraft? That's what it is. Yeah, I'm glad I wasn't there for that. I need more red in here. <laughs> I'm actually going to switch to another brush because I want to keep this color on this brush, it's quite loaded. But I want to switch over to a yellowish color for the other side. If you want to see the reference photo, Clara, it's, in, it's on my the link is in the description, it's on my Patreon, it's public for everyone. Okay, this is quite bright, I think. 
should be a little more toned down. But I know you're not big into uh, landscapes and stuff, but if you are. <laughs> he gets passionate about. <laughs> yeah, doesn't it have some sort of nostalgic vibes? It really does. It puts me in a really... I don't know, it's a bit ethereal. I love it. Kind of dreamy, you know. Some of this yellow to the other side. <clears throat> yeah, it's very otherworldly. I really should have put some stars in there. Initially, I was thinking of putting a planet in the sky. Maybe it's not too late. It's not too late to add a planet, never too late. Okay, let's add some more of this. <laughs> So I was thinking of, uh, you know how I do acrylic painting workshops at the studio and uh, a lot of times people ask me, you know, is it, is it for beginners and stuff? And generally I try to do these paintings that you know, beginners can do as well, but I also have uh, students that have been with me from the beginning and they're kind of learning to do more, more, you know, complex paintings and stuff. And I just feel like I can move on with them and not keep them stuck to the beginner level all the time. So I was thinking it would be great if I just do an online beginner course so that just people can top of the sky even darker oh yeah yeah that's a good idea I will yeah so I was thinking it'd be nice if I do this for beginning for beginners but this would be like the last painting the, the pièce de résistance <laughs> their masterpiece I will see because this I as I do the paintings the, for it, I, I learn. I learn how I should actually go about it, and sometimes I have to do it again the proper way. You know, so when I mixed my paints, they weren't quite the colors weren't exactly how I wanted them to be. So then we just go back and forth and. Do the light in the dark. I will do the top of the sky a little bit darker. I think it is a little bit, oops, <laughs> a little bit darker than you can see it on the, on the camera. I'm not sure. Just gonna go with the, the main color all the way and then add the bushes. You doing fun stuff this summer? so fun that is cool what lake Hmm. 
<laughs> That's good either way. Uh, you gonna you gonna fish? You should bring if you have a fishing permit. You should bring a fishing rod and live off the land. <laughs> it's funny the things that I find fascinating from watching this this alone show the show how about these maybe you know <laughs> they drop off these people generally like 10 10 people they drop them off in British Columbia or Vancouver Island and they let them they see who can survive the most the longest just off the land but there are all sorts of restrictions like you can't kill the bears even if they attack you and stuff which is less than less than ideal but uh, a lot of people thrive there once they figure out once they figure it out how to what food source is easiest and the more most sustainable. That would be such a cool experience to to have. <sighs> but I would have to learn a lot of you know, foraging and plants and stuff. And how to build a shelter and Did I watch alone? That's what I was talking about. Yeah, alone. We're, we're watching the, the second season now. Or third, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. It's very addicting, I gotta say. They always leave you with these uh, terrible cliffhangers. <clears throat> it, it is. It, it's a great show sometimes you think oh my god these people but sometimes you think wow I wish I was able to do that it's just interesting how a lot of it it is luck you know it would be cool <laughs> You don't think you would be able to catch your own food? I mean, ma mainly they survive off of uh, off of fish. Fishing isn't that traumatizing, you know. I think we started watching the uh, the eighth season, the one with Clay, where he uh, he caught a deer and then. He, he was the one who won the... <laughs> you don't have the skill. Eh, well, you learn the skill. It's a skill you can learn. It's just, you know, you're putting your net in the water or actual fishing, active fishing. It's all a matter of location as well. Okay, so let's make some bushes now. I'm gonna grab my more flexible brush. It's still an angular brush. And grabbing some of this dark green. I'm loading it quite well because this paint has to go on top. It cannot be mixing with underneath color. color gets changed. Just putting these little bushes. <sighs> I 
The lady caught a fish and let it go purpose. Yes, we just watched that the, the other day. I know. I don't need you right now, so I'm setting you free. I'm just yeah. I know. I was thinking, just give the fish to David. He was so downtrodden. I know. I just it was it was very very neat to see how how successful she was with her net. It was amazing, and you know, considering she was living among bears and the bears just left left her alone for the most part. Really cool. That was the season with a lady who who left because she got scared of her own might. She's like, I was afraid of of hurting the bear cob. Like, oh god. Oh yeah. MS. I forgot about that. Yeah. We had high hopes for Tracy, but she she's like, I don't want to hurt the nature. Like, please, you really think? She had potential. But alas. We, we haven't the se finished that season yet, no. Don't tell me who won. Um, I don't like spoilers. <laughs> I don't even want to look at the end of the, you know, when we see the episodes. I don't even look at the end of at the last episode because I don't want to see who was in the last episode to spoil it for me. Very curious. <laughs> I mean, my... I would like David to win just because, you know, he's, he's the guy with the children that he always is tired of saying no to his children and he really needs it. So I would like him to win because, uh, you know, I can, I can understand his feeling. On the other hand, I think Nicole also has quite... Quite a chance to win because she is so much more in tune with nature. It's really interesting to see how some people are so skilled and don't get it, and some people with are a little softer. Have the you know Nicole's got a more softer, light, holistic touch. I like that. Got some grasses here coming up. highlight those bushes just a little bit a little bit of white
ocean. I like the green mixing with the background because it gives it a more unified feeling. It also adds a, another color which makes it more interesting. And over here we have some long grasses. dark at the bottom. Red and let's grab some of this. See how purple this looks next to the orange? Over here it looks brown, but over here it totally looks purple. Very interesting. Touch of black. Let's see how it looks here. Yeah, it's dark enough. Just adding the bottoms of these long grasses, which are in the shadow. And then I can add some individual grasses. I wonder. I don't know. I should go and look on Unsplash and see if uh, they offer the location. I'll let you know if I find out. Grab some orange and yellow and then just start at the top. mixing we can go a little bit to the extremes and it's kind of like impressionistic grass <laughs> oh you missed west coast yeah it feels it does feel like that you're right really funny you missed uh, one of Lewis's streams where uh, Qualder was there and he started he was actually acting you Clara he started this conversation where it was quite controversial and it really got Lewis going about uh, <laughs> he's talking about I wonder why people get so angry at, uh, at other people's idea of good art and then it really got Lewis talking about you know 
how our art has kind of fallen. <laughs> it was really funny. <laughs> he was so animated. Very animated, Lewis. Yeah, <laughs> it was the it was the nude the nude stream. Okay, let's do I'm grabbing some of this black. It will mix in, so I'm not too worried. There's some can't zoom in anymore. There's some sort of road barrier right here. as much as I thought it would. We got to dilute the paint sometimes. Some water, maybe use this greenish paint rather. Yes, you were definitely represented. Quadar did a really good job at filling in for you. It was, it was very entertaining. kind of landscape is it? I really like landscapes. They're, they're similar to portraits. They can really evoke feelings. Oh, they can evoke dreamy. Never finished and never uploaded. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, clouds are fun. Some darkness to the bottom of some of these. Some of these uh, bushes. Yes, you need to finish and post it.
little bit of darkness at the bottom of those bushes really adds a lot more depth and dimension. I use a small brush when really I should be using a bigger brush, but oh well, it's a little bit easier to control. Okay, I think I'm just gonna do the, the road now, and I need to mix the color for the road. The road should be mainly just a gray color but since the sky is slightly purple slightly brickish purple then the road will be that color too so let's mix gray color first and then add some of this purple to it Maybe add some of this color to it. My dog's having a dream. He's twitching. Hmm, it needs to be a little more orangey. You know, it's really sometimes. Um, I love mixing colors, mixing paints, but sometimes it's really difficult because I look at the color and I say, okay, this is the dominant color, then I mix that color, but then I say, hmm, but it, it tends towards this color, and then I add that color, and then I say, but maybe it's a little yellower, so I add the yellow, and then it needs to be a little more red. <laughs> it's so many, it takes a lot to mix the right color you know at least for me but but i have an eye for color so i can do it it's just a lot of work so now i feel that color is more blue than that so adding some blue to it so now if i look uh, it's more red We'll just mix paint in here until we get the right color is what we're gonna do. Okay, let's see. Is this it? Yeah, it's a little yellower on this side. Looking for the color for the pavement. <laughs> yeah, I am. That's what I was mixing. I'd lighten it slightly, but other than that, it's a good match. <laughs> yeah. Light night because in the picture it looks darker actually. <laughs> uh, maybe it's a little lighter in the background, but coming forward I think it should be darker. I think there's also a little bit of color variation in it. Should be a tad more purple like a tad more red yeah tad more red tad more red and blue I'm pretty good when I put a color side by side and then I immediately see what needs to be added like when I have 
the color right here and then I can match it. But when it's on my screen, it's really difficult. It's very difficult. But not impossible. And it is lighter on that side, I do agree. It's lighter and yellower on the other side. art can be a representation not exact reproduction right <laughs> we artists if we say it's so then it is so color to it to lighten it and just a touch of yellow there we go but it's not just yellow it's orange Mixing works when you're doing uh, glazes. That works really well because then you can just put glazes on top and that will change the color appropriately. But if you mix the colors, then it doesn't work. Especially with clouds, I've noticed you need to add the compensating color like when you do a transition from blue to yellow in a sky you can't just go blue to yellow you have to add red in between to uh, ah yeah I actually used a little bit of glazing in I'm working on a, on a dragon eye and the other day I, I said to myself I'll just start adding the shadow by adding a very light layer, a very transparent layer because I have this uh, medium, uh, the matte medium here, <coughs> golden, and I added it to the paint and I said, you know, I'll just do transparency and I really, really enjoyed it. I don't know why I haven't done more of that, but I will. Okay, I think I need to add more color in this section because it became too white from that. Shouldn't have added that color. Let's just add the orange to this color like this. Oh, let's just add a little bit of that color to this and then go over here make it look like it's part of the same road. That's the most important thing, for the colors not to be too different. Because the light does shine differently.
two experiments one where you painted portrait wet on wet a uh, monochromatic color of glazing and lifting wow nice was this in your class in your because uh, you were doing the class experiments are fun because you can kind of play and learn a lot okay let me get some light color for the for the lines on the road well they they have a little bit of warm color in them so i'll just grab some orange and add some of this pinkish color to it and mix it on this grayish slab of paint more white okay let's see how white it looks a little bit more white okay world watercolor month ah cool as I can. yellow line on the sides let's do that yellow line planet and we can call it we can call it let's add 
a touch of white. down the paint is picking up paintbrush is picking up and the underneath paint and it starts becoming less and less yellow so then what I need to do well actually you can't see it very well anyway because the road starts becoming horizontal and then uh, can't see the line so much, so that's all right. No worries. You can see it a little bit on the on the right side. Generally, you would do things that are closer, bigger. But since this is turning horizontal, you still don't see it as much. So it's still a thin line. Well, it's picking up too much color, so it's not showing up. Now yeah, let's put in, let's put in a planet. Oh. oh. How am I putting in a planet? It is very challenging to make round things. So let me see if I have anything round that is the size of a planet that I would like. Maybe, maybe this? Yeah, this is, this is a good size. It's a good size. You know what we can do? Let's do something that I've never done before. I'm just gonna paint, gonna paint on the cap. Let's make the planet orange. So I'm grabbing some of this orange paint. <laughs> hey Steve, looking serene. Thank you. It's okay. Going all right. You know, can't complain. Shouldn't. <laughs> How are you doing? How are you doing, my friend? So I'm putting one color on one side and then another color on the other side. I want one side to be a little bit lighter than the other side. Let's see if this will make a circle or if this is completely not a good idea. But uh, the sky, I'm pretty sure it's still wet. So I wouldn't, wouldn't want to you know, mess it up. Okay. Let's see see how it goes over here or over here just about over here okay pushing it both ways <laughs> look at that planet perfect how interesting see you don't need a compass the only compass you need is your moral compass <laughs> Uh, and other silly, silly things. Okay, let's color it. Make it light over here and dark over here. And then somewhere in between, in the middle. You're just a year? Yeah. Trying really hard not to be an year. 
bad company to myself. You're a very artistic ER though. <clears throat> Truth is, I really didn't feel like, really didn't feel like streaming today. <laughs> yeah, right? It was nice use of the lid. I didn't feel like streaming today because, uh, yeah, I don't know. I have some, some stuff that are, that is frustrating, you know. And then when I, um, I said, okay, whatever the stuff that is happening, uh, I still have to do this. I shouldn't let my stupid feelings stay in, you know, get in the way of the things that I have to do, that I should do, you know? So I kind of pushed myself and I was thinking, is this healthy? Is this healthy to, to disregard my feelings and just do it even though I don't feel like it? How much should we let our feelings dictate the things that we do, you know? I was thinking maybe if I if I just do it anyway, I'll get in the mood. Or maybe if I do it and I while I don't feel like doing it, maybe that'll make a crappy result. And I said whatever. Crappy result, not crappy result. At least I'll do something and then if I still feel like crap afterwards, whatever. That's on me. <laughs> <laughs> but at least I'll have a, a painting, even, even if it's a crappy painting, whatever. I'll have tried. I have to get out of my, my own head, because God knows, you know. And I know that it's easy to wallow, and I do love wallowing, but wallowing... It's like, like a whole when, how much wallowing is enough wallowing. I don't know. I don't think anybody really knows. Has this elusive thing called life figured out? That's probably a good thing. Even if they don't, they still say that they do but we have to be wise and not fall for for other people's crap even our own I don't know. every time I start talking uh, I regret doing it <laughs> Afterwards, I'm like, ah, oh, why did I even start talking? So then I don't talk, you know. It's starting to look like something. Let's add some. Let's add some of this dark sky color on the other side, and maybe some of the purple color, and maybe some of this color. Yeah, it can, I know, it totally can. But many times I said, I just don't feel like doing something. And it's just, it's interesting. It's a thing to know when to, like you said, when to pull back, because a lot of things I have done this, I said, you know, whatever, I'll just do it. And then I did some crappy work because of it 
but also sometimes it's good to have a goal in mind and when you do it for a particular purpose then I think that purpose will will make all the difference you know if I just as many times I just did it and didn't really know why why I did it but yeah thing maybe. maybe I can do some some lines Jupiterian Jovian that was it. Some Jovian lines in here. Can't have the rodeo without the pole tug, right? Yep. have brothers or sisters Steve because so I grew up by myself so I'm naturally very selfish which you know I actually realized recently how just how <laughs> selfish I am and when I realized it kind of struck me uh, you know it was quite a blow like holy holy shit that I have to work on that because I didn't like myself the way I was the way well not was but um, something that I'm working on changing or at least to be more aware to brothers <laughs> you're the youngest Wow must be quite independent because by the time parents have the third child they're like ah oh, they can they can figure it out <laughs> I'm like the only child my I was so I think I think I was quite pampered and, and coddled and since my parents you know didn't have a another option to fall on kind of all the pressure was on me to perform and to do everything and to survive so you can imagine the pressure <laughs> just kidding <laughs> I'm just kidding tried to grow wise <laughs> yeah I was always very wise wise ass <laughs> the problem was you know when you have siblings at least you have your you have something to compare yourself against but when you don't have uh, siblings you always think you're the, the, the tits you always think you're the best thing because your parents revere you and they cherish you and they worship you so it's really difficult knowing your worth because you're everything so 
so then naturally I grew, you know. It's all my parents' fault, that's the thing. I have absolutely no fault in the way that I am. But all the merit in my qualities, but none of the blame for the faults. So. Like doing swirly swirls in the in the planets. I have to grab quite a bit of paint because at this stage I'm just pushing the paint away. Let's add some of this reddish color. into the sky, this uh, left side. Now I was thinking of putting some, some rings on it, but I think I'll just leave it like that. I'm thinking it's done. But thank you very much for hanging out today. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Let me see. Boop. Have a wonderful weekend, Steve and Clara, if you're still here. Hang on, hang on, I'm reading, I'm reading. <laughs> I can't show it. Another moderator just handled this? Hmm. Hmm, <clears throat> right, right. Yeah, that's unfortunate, Steve. I grew up in a Christian home too. That's unfortunate. But look at you, you, you came out fine. <laughs> you came out fine. Decent human being, man. Otherwise, we wouldn't be friends. Well, um, have a wonderful weekend and we'll continue this uh, uh, psychology class next time. This psychiatry. <laughs> Alright, bye. Bye, man. Have a wonderful weekend.